Hey everyone, and welcome back to a series that you all have requested for months and months and months. It's the fan-made Backrooms level series. It has been forever since I've done a video on some fan-made levels, so if you want to see more, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and commenting on the video, because I'll only keep doing it if you guys want it. So, if you're new here, this is the series where Brookly fans, just like you, write and create a Backrooms level and submit it to me over on the Discord server. And then I go over it in a video if you're chosen. Hopefully you do enjoy the video, and let's get right into the first submission. So first up is from Aaron Kuhn, or Kuhn, and their level is called The Horror Hospital. The level is classified as a class 5 difficulty and is very, very dangerous. It physically looks like an old abandoned hospital that's been partially destroyed or broken in most of its areas. Now this level does have something pretty similar to leveled run for your life because when you get to this hospital here, there are tons and tons of entities that will flock to you the second they see you. But that's not all the bad stuff because there is also radiation inside of the hospital. So when you get here, you're going to have to run around and find a gas mask and a hazmat suit as soon as possible so the radiation doesn't unalive you first. The entities on this level are the worst of the worst, quite literally. Skin crawlers, wretches, facelings, smilers, a few party goers, skin givers, and phobic centipedes. Those are probably in my top 10 of the scariest entities in all of the backrooms. And they're conveniently here on one level for you. Nice. So after you get here, you gotta run around, find a hazmat suit and a gas mask. And after you get that stuff, if you wanna leave, you're gonna have to no clip into anything that isn't too destroyed. Or if you're feeling really crazy, you can run directly at the horde of entities following you and just no clip into them if you trust your no clipping skills, I guess. Whichever one you prefer. To enter this crazy level, you have to have just left level run for your life. And if you do, there's a really small chance you'll be sent here, which would be absolutely terrible because level run for your life makes you run for miles and miles away from entities, and then you get sent here to also run miles and miles away from entities. So yeah, you gotta have really bad luck for that to happen. But hey, I mean, it's the back rooms. Anything can happen. But yeah, that was Aaron's level, a post-nuclear bombed hospital with thousands of creatures crawling around. It kind of reminds me of the uh, hospital from Stranger Things, but with more creatures. Good stuff. Next up for the video is Cheryl's level called Abnormal Dreams. This level is classified as this symbol, which apparently means Uranus. Funny. It's unsafe and unsecure with reality warping hazards. Now it is an enigmatic level, and it's made up of a couple of different sub-levels that are pretty hard to wrap your head around. Lots of things in this level make no sense to someone like us or any normal person. Like you can start walking up a hill just to appear at the bottom of it when you get to the top. Or you might just see a random hole in the sky, shining light from no light source that you can see. Like it just makes no sense. Apparently in the sky of this level, the actual earth that we live on right now can be seen very rarely. And there are other mirrored versions of backrooms levels that appear in the sky as well. The first sub-level in this level is called the desert. Now this is where everyone is sent that joins the level. It's made up of typical deserty stuff like dunes and hills and a mountain every so often. The sand has a ton of salt content in it, which means that it used to be the bottom of an ocean. It somehow dried up. Even though it's a desert, it does rain sometimes, and the rain is not absorbed into the sand at all. It just pools on top, so it's completely hydrophobic. The next zone is called the pools. Now this is a more secretive part of the level, and it can only be accessed by getting lost in the desert. Now the pools look like regular outdoor public pools, but they all have different looks to them. Time as we know it is stopped inside of the pools and there are just objects that have fallen into the water that are completely still. But if you touch that object, they will reanimate and start going again. Interesting. And when you touch an object, the sky will turn pitch black. The last zone is called the roads. Now this is an abandoned city with no buildings that's literally just made up of a bunch of zigzagged roads. The roads are really steep and they can't be driven on 
and they just make no sense. Like, why is there an entire cityscape with no buildings but just roads? There aren't any outposts here because the level is too big, and the entities that live here are hounds, smilers, and windows. To enter, you can no-clip through a sub-level on level 94, and to exit, you can no-clip through one of those pools that you ran across. Nice. This one seems like a video game or something with different levels. I don't know. It's pretty neat. The last entry for today comes from you, literally, and their level is Animoya, or level 253. This level is classified as class undetermined and is made up of a bunch of different rooms that give people weird feelings of nostalgia. Pretty much a liminal space heaven, if you will. Even though they haven't ever seen that specific room in real life, they feel like they have. And that's why this level is named Animoya. That literally translates to nostalgia for a time you've never known. The rooms are always changing on this level, so there's new ones all the time in like a rotation pattern. But all of them have a slight blue coloration and are slightly colder than a normal room temperature room. Now the physical level is safe, but there are TVs that are scattered around that play memetic hazards on the screens. And if you look at them for too long, well, you could just on alive right there. Only one person can be in this level each year, so it's impossible to set up a base here, but you can enter the level randomly when you're least expecting it. Which is fine by me, I mean, it seems pretty chill. To leave, you have to wait three months on the level, and you can drink the almond water there to stay alive. And then you'll be sent to level 11 after the three months is over. Cool. So yeah, that was three of the fan submitted backrooms levels, or the fan rooms as I like to call them. Hope you enjoyed them. If you want this series to continue, leave a like and comment it. So I would just know the masses appeal on this, this series. You know, I don't know if you guys like it or not. A ton of you have asked for it, but I don't know. Just let me know down below. Man, I'm rhyming today. Thank you all for watching the video. Thank you for supporting me. I really appreciate it. The channel is quite literally going insane right now, and I'm just really thankful for everything you do. Also, make sure to go check out my second channel, Toogly. I'm uploading some banger videos over there. I got a video coming out early next week about a Black Ops 3 Zombies backrooms map. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm aiming for 50k subs over there, and we're just about to hit 16k. I think we're well on the way. But if you want to help the cause, drop a sub. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out until then.